Well, good morning. Today is Tuesday, October 23rd, and we're going inside the garage today because it's very windy. It's cold. It's 45 degrees, and there's like wind bursts, or not gusts, because gusts is really high. Just like every once in a while, there's like a quick breeze. So I figured you'd hear me better if I was in the garage. Um, <clears throat> I have no plans for today. <clears throat> Other than get rid of this frog in my throat. <clears> throat, I always when the seasons change, it just seems to affect my sinuses. I don't know why, but it's hard to believe in two weeks not this Saturday, but next Saturday we gotta flick our cocks back. Is it next? Yep, the day after Halloween, fall back so it'll get darker quicker. And then my sister Mary has just informed me, I think I told you this yesterday, but I, we have to be at the hospital at 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's early. So I'm going to have to go to bed early today. Mm. Mm. Um, and then David called from school, said he wasn't feeling well, but he sounded perfectly fine to me. So I was the mean grandma, and I told him, suck it up, buttercup. Go to class. You don't sound that bad to me. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm just so bad. I says, well, if you think it's bad enough that you need to call your mother at work and have her come and pick you up. And he says, well, my mom's at work. And I said, well, if you're that sick, she says, well, she doesn't answer her phone. Call her office of her school and tell them that you're dying and that you need to go home. And then she'll probably lose her job. Are you that sick? No, I'm not that sick. I know, me and grandma, but you know, sometimes you gotta have tough love, tough love. But if I really thought he was sick, I'd pick him up, but he didn't sound the least bit sick on the phone. I think he's just like a baby, he's got his days and nights mixed because he had uh, a four day, four days off from school and now it's getting back into the routine and I think he's just threw, threw his routine off. He feels today like I'm gonna feel tomorrow morning when I get up, but you know what, I'm still gonna get up, I'm still gonna bring her. I um, I have no plans for today other than um, stay on track. I think I'm going to have some oatmeal for breakfast. And then I think I'm going to have a turkey sandwich with uh, some cottage cheese and a tomato and some cucumbers for my dinner. And I have, you probably have seen it by now, I did a review of a air fryer. I was very leery about using an air fryer. Everybody uses them, I know. Everybody swears by them. So I found a recipe online that told me to cook a piece of chicken for seven minutes on one side and four minutes on the other. When I bake my chicken in the oven, I cook it at 350 for about 45 to 50 minutes, and then I take the cover off and I cook it for another 20. So you're going to tell me that a piece of chicken is going to cook in about 10 minutes? I didn't believe it. But it actually it took, I think, 14 minutes, and then I was kind of scared to eat it because I thought how can a piece of chicken I put the thermometer in it and it tested at the perfect temperature when I sliced it it was juicy everything about it and so when I put it on my salad last night my first bite I thought oh but oh my gosh it was so good <laughs> now I swear by this stupid air fryer I'm looking forward to putting something else in there cooking something else in there and it cleaned up so easily uh, the basket tray I put in the dishwasher, but the bottom part where all the grease and everything went to, I just put in the sink with some a little bit of soapy water and just rinsed it. I probably could have done the basket the same way. It was such an easy cleanup. It was just, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. So I do stand behind that. You know, like a lot of times if somebody gives me a product, I really kind of, yeah, I have to think it's something I might really want because I don't want to tell you I like something if I don't. Valerie Reese does a lot of reviews and she's very honest with her reviews and so anything that she recommends or doesn't recommend I always go with that because uh, her and her husband Steve like they've done food you know try it things and they get all kinds of stuff from Amazon and as a matter of fact one time I won on one of her raffles some of her Amazon stuff I won one of the fans which I absolutely love it's a portable fan that you don't have to plug in I love it and going to stay on track. I already said that. I have to convince myself sometimes of that, but I think everybody has to do that. And I did lose 0 0.6 today, so I'm back going the way I want to go. Oops. I did go a little crazy on the weekend, but that's who I am. 
but I have to stay in the 20s. I know that when you saw my thing yesterday, it shows that I was in the 30s. Um, I'm talking about going into the Weight Watcher um, thing because that's my official weight. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm looking forward to the 31st, to this being this challenge being done. I find that psychologically, weighing every so myself every day, it kind of is playing mind games with me, and I don't like those kind of games. I really don't. And I hear you, Anita Johnson. She keeps saying, just stop, just stop. And I, you know, I, I'm very much committed to things. I've committed to this journey on my weight, losing my weight, or my adventure. She doesn't like journey. This adventure. So I'm very committed to that. And there's a lot of things along the way I don't like about that either, but I stick with it because I know it's going to help me in the end. And uh, my word means a lot to me. And so I've given you my word that I'm going to do this for the 31st. And if I stop before the 31st, then it's like I'm breaking my word. And that is not who I am. If I give you my word or something, you can trust it. You can know it. I've got secrets in me that I've promised people that'll t that I'll take to the grave. And I will take to the grave, and they will never know. Unless you tell me that it's okay to say something, you'll never hear it from me. Because if I give you my word, I want my word to mean something. And... Uh, and I do think that if I stop before the 31st, that, that I'd be breaking my word, and I'm not going to do that. So, I have a promise to you that this is going to stay to the 31st. But after the 31st, I'm only weighing when I go to Weight Watcher meetings, because that works better for me. But, in that saying that, I think it's helped a lot of people this month, because we've lost a lot of weight this month. We really have lost a lot of weight. And a lot of you don't weigh yourselves every day, because you know it doesn't work for you. Uh, I'm finding out it doesn't work for me. <laughs> but... I'm still having a loss. I'm still doing well, so that's all that matters. Okay, um, let's start walking so I can get warm because I'm getting a little chilly here. I'm getting like a chilly billy. So, chilly billy willy. Okay, let's get going. Let's go for our walk. It's going to be a beautiful day, I can just tell. Okay, I did walk two miles, and let me tell you, it's windy. I'm trying to figure out a way that you won't be hearing the whoosh of the sound of the wind. But it was a nice invigorating walk. I'm glad I walked. I had to put my hood up. I keep my hood up because it blocks my, keeps my ears warm. And it doesn't really bother my peripheral vision because it's not that high up. But I don't know how much you're hearing because of the wind. So I'm going to end this now. See you at breakfast. Okay, let's eat breakfast. Um, I eat my oatmeal with just a little bit of milk. I don't put anything else on it. Someone had asked me that. So I started my day with a prayer. I drank 20, 60 ounces of water. My quote is, the greatest struggle, the greater the struggle, the more victor, let me start again. My quote for the day is, the greater the struggle, the more glamorous is the victory. 23 smart points, zero for my berries, banana. I thought I had a grapefruit, but I don't. Tea and water, four points for a half a cup of oatmeal and one point for a quarter cup of 2% milk. It's a five point breakfast. Okay, I'm going to have my dinner. I'm just going to have a half a sandwich with some cottage cheese and some pita chips. Those are the townhouse cracker pita chips that I'm going to eat with some iced tea. I had uh, 18 points to use. I only used 12. Three points for my 12 grams of pita chips. Two points for one slice of pumpernickel bread. Zero for my turkey, mustard, tea, uh, water, and the pineapple. And three points for a half a cup of cottage cheese and four points for an ounce of provolone. It's 12 points. I have six points left. Okay, I'm putting this video up early tonight because I have to get up early tomorrow in the middle of the night for my sister, Den uh, Chris Denise. No, my sister Mary. Oh, excuse me. Um, is just having a minor procedure done. It's just like an outpatient. She's she going to be in and out, so... But uh, she's the first surgery of the day, so we have to get there really early. She lives about a half an hour from me, and where the hospital she's got to go is about a half an hour from her. So that's why I got to leave so early. But anyway, uh, we did have an 11.2 loss today. I did have a .6 loss, so that was good. I'm, I'm on my way back going down. Um, Sue W. lost .4. Becky Fisher lost .6. Priscilla Strong has lost three pounds for the week. Uh, Susan Moon lost 0.6. TNWTI 
R lost 5.6 and it's her first week trying to lose weight. So she's doing really good. I hope I said your initials right. I can't read my writing sometimes. Uh, Margaret McGuire, 0. 0.8. And Kathy Johnson lost 2 pounds, but she's lost 9 pounds for the month. So I think we're doing really, really well. Um, like I said, um, my dinner was really good. I'm falling into the bad habit of after I close my video. Well, I'm not going to do that tonight because I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. But um, I've been having like some pretzel rods at night after I've stopped filming. And I think a lot of it is why my weight is kind of kind of teetering like that is because I'm um, still eating a little bit more than I'm reporting. And uh, I just... Um, I just forget to film it. You know, once I close my video up for the night, I just get my pajamas on and watch TV and then go to bed. And I don't think about it too much. So, um, but I'm going to be a little bit, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to be a little bit more conscious of that. And uh, I have no plans on having a snack tonight because I do plan on going to bed like within an hour, which hopefully I can fall asleep because I'm not used to going to bed this early. And... Um, so, but anyway, I was going to ask for prayers for Monica Soto. Uh, she needs prayers for her father. And uh, Diane Dravinsky needs prayers for her mother. So uh, if you could remember the two of them in your prayers, I really would appreciate it. I, um, I'm not going to go to water aerobics, obviously, tomorrow morning, but I do plan on getting a walk-in. I think I might walk at the hospital um like around the hospital on the outside while she's in for her procedure because I think the, I think it's supposed to be an hour, hour and a half or something like that so I can get a walk in. I'm, her husband's going too. Uh, he doesn't drive. So um, he'll be, the, obviously the, he'd be the one to take the notifications if anything, nothing's going to go wrong. But just in case, I mean, but um, he can call me if there's, a, if there's an issue. So uh, anyway, give this video a like. Please subscribe. Uh, leave a comment and share if you think somebody might like to see this. And so I will see you guys sometime tomorrow. Well, you'll see me the same time tomorrow. But I, I, I like to think I'm talking to you when I'm filming, even though I know I'm not. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.